Ah, hello and good morning to you. This is Dr. Bill Bledsoe inviting you to join me in, join me in a morning exercise session that's also morning prayers. And I truly believe this is the best way anybody can start their day. So we'll begin with prayers. God, I thank you for this wonderful method of praying, of communing with you, of saying our prayers out loud, each of us, our individual heartfelt prayers, voicing them to you, of doing body movements to heal our bodies, to prepare our bodies to be in service to you. I thank the generations that have brought this to us from the house of Abraham, the house of David, from Jesus, his mother Mary, Father Joseph, Mary Magdalene, and from Virginia Ellen, who finally wrote a book explaining this ancient method of prayer. It's been passed down through the generations. <clears throat> So now, if you'll repeat after me, we'll say the morning Sacred Heart Yoga prayer. Beloved, I devote this practice this day to the evolution of my soul. to the fulfillment of my destiny and service to you. And I allow myself to be purified freed of all fears as I rejoice in the kingdom of heaven and the love of God. And I give thanks for these blessings, these moments I share, with my body and my spirit in oneness with you. And so it is, amen. Amen. Now we're going to clear our energy fields. This means get rid of distractions, things, worries, things that we're contemplating first thing in the morning that we got to do today, any sort of fears that might keep us from walking hand in hand with God this blessed morning. And so we do this by a motion with our hand. We take it up to the 12 o'clock position, move it around to the three o'clock position over to our right knee or left knee, nine o'clock position and back up to the 12 o'clock position. And as we do this, our prayers repeat after me. Our prayers begin with, I clear my energy field. of anyone or anything standing within. I bless them and I send them to the light. Oh. Now we come to the foundation of the, the prayers this morning, meaning um, we'll repeat it 
over and over, we ask God, how may we serve? And the answer always comes to me in just one or two words. And then I'll repeat those one or two words over and over throughout the whole morning prayers in different ways. And by the time I'm finished, I'll have a good, clear understanding of what God wants to teach me this day. So we do this by putting our hands over our hearts, our right hand over our hearts. And here our prayers begin with, God, how may I serve you this blessed day? Now we're going to stand up and announce out loud in the privacy of our own homes what the couple words were, whatever came to us that we're supposed to do today. And uh, the way we do this, stand up, put our palms out, facing forward, straight and tall. And here our prayers begin with, God, my intention to serve you is to Um. Now we sit back down and we lay down on our backs and go into resting position, which we go into often in between different sets during the Sacred Heart Yoga. Resting position, legs outstretched, arms at our sides. And we start by pulling our right knee up to our chest, holding it there with our arms and our hands. And here our prayers begin with, Father, I love you, and I thank you for... Um. Now we hold our right foot in our left hand, pull it over to our left thigh, and let our right knee fall down to the mat. Our right arm goes straight up above our head, stretched out and down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, Father, I love you. And I thank you for... Oh. Now we take our right foot in our right hand. Our left arm goes straight up above our heads. Down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with. Father, I love you. And I thank you for... Oh. 
Aum. Now we point our right foot up towards the heavens, holding it there with our right hand, our left arm still stretched straight above our heads and down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, Father, I love you and I thank you for Um. Now we let that right foot go up to the heavens and fall out to the right side of our bodies, down to the mat, extend it out, our pelvis as open as we can. Our arms fall straight out to the sides from our shoulders, laying down on the mat, palms up, and here our prayers begin with, Father, I love you, and I thank you for... Um. Now we turn our heads to the right and our right leg goes across up into the air and across over to the left side of our bodies. Keeping our shoulders down flat on the mat, trying to touch our right leg over to the mat on the left side of our bodies. And here our prayers begin with, Father, I love you and I thank you for Um. Now we go back to resting position, legs outstretched, arms at our sides, and we pull our left knee up to our chest, holding it there with our arms and our hands. And here our prayers begin with, Mother, I love you and I thank you for Um. Now we pull our left foot over to our right thigh, holding it there with our right hand, and let our left knee fall down to the mat. Our left arm goes straight up above our heads and down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, Mother, I love you, and I thank Thank you for oh. 
Om. Now we switch hands. We take our left foot in our left hand, holding it down near our pelvis. And our right arm this time goes straight up above our heads and down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, Mother, I love you and I thank you for Om. Now we take our left foot and we point it up to the heavens, keeping our right arm straight over our heads and down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, Mother, I love you and I thank you for Om. Now our left foot goes up to the heavens and falls out to the left side of our body, down to the mat, opening our pelvis wide, and our arms fall straight out to the sides from our chest, extended out, down to the mat, and palms up. And here our prayers begin with, Mother, I love you and I thank you for Om. Now we turn our heads to the left and we keeping we take our left foot up and point it to the heavens and over to the right side of our bodies down to the mat, keeping our shoulders down flat on the mat. And here our prayers begin with. Mother, I love you and I thank you for all. Now we go back to resting position, legs outstretched, arms at our sides, and we pull both knees up to our chest, holding them there with our arms and our hands. And here our prayers begin with, God, I love you and I thank you for Om. Now we hold our right foot in our right hand, left foot in our left hand, pull our feet, soles of our feet together down near our pelvis. And here our prayers begin with, God, I love you and I thank you for
Aum. Now we pull our feet apart, keeping them down near our pelvis. And here our prayers begin with, God, I love you. And I thank you for Om. Now both feet point up towards the heavens, holding them there with our hands. And here our prayers begin with, God, I love you and I thank you for Aum. Now we let our feet fall down to the mat near our pelvis. Our arms fall straight out to the sides from our shoulders once again down to the mat, but this time our palms are down. We turn our heads to the left and our knees bend to the right, down to the mat, keeping our shoulders down on the mat. And here our prayers begin with, God, I love you and I thank you for Oh. Now we turn our heads to the right side and our knees bend over to the left side of our bodies, holding our shoulders down to the mat while we bend our knees over down to the mat on the left side. And here our prayers begin with, God, I love you and I thank you for Oh. Now we go back to resting position, legs outstretched, arms at our sides. And this is called the surrender pose, where we surrender to God as we see God, either him, her, God, the one, the oneness. We surrender to God. Anything that might be troubling us, anything that might distract us from going hand in hand, walking with God in the spiritual sense, in the spiritual world. So we surrender it by putting our hands under our sit bones and leaning forward on our elbows and take a, try to touch the tops of our heads back down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, God, I surrender to you. Oh. 
Um. Now we go back to resting position, and this time our left hand reaches for the heavens, straight up, left arm extended, and then we let our left arm fall over to the right side of our body, keeping our arm straight. And we take our right hand halfway between our left shoulder and left elbow, and stretch it, stretch our shoulder even a little more. And here our prayers begin with, God, in service to you, I choose. Um. Now we take our right arm up to the heavens and let it fall over to the left side of our bodies. And we take our left hand halfway between our right shoulder and right elbow, stretching our left, our right shoulder a little bit more. And here our prayers begin with, God, I'm dedicated to service to you, and I can. Um. Now we go back to resting position, legs outstretched, arms at our sides, and we pull our feet up to our pelvis down on the mat, and we put the soles of our feet together, letting our knees fall out to the sides. This forms a triangle with our legs, which is a, a tabernacle, a house of God. Now we form a second tabernacle by putting our hands over our hearts in prayer position, lifting them up two thirds of the way up to the heavens. And in this tabernacle of our hearts, God has given each of us this wonderful chalice filled to overflowing with all the gifts, anything we could ever desire to be in service to God. And here our prayers begin with, God, I drink from your chalice your wonderful gifts of Um. Now we take our hands in prayer position down to the mat over our heads. Let our arms fall out straight to the sides, our elbows out and down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, 
Well, what we have is we formed a tabernacle over our bodies. And so our prayers begin with, God, I thank you for my body. I thank you for my mind. I thank you for my spirit. And I thank you for my soul. Now we're going into the anointing series where we anoint these gifts that God has given us and we thank him for them. And we'll repeat it three times so that you can be thankful for all the gifts he gives us or repeat the same one over and over. So we keep our hands in prayer position during the whole anointing series, all three sessions of it. And we start by putting our thumbs up to our foreheads. And here our prayers begin with, God, I truly thank you for your gift of Um, and there I got a little bit out of order. I should have done anointing first and thanking was the third pose. So we'll, we'll start over. We'll take our thumbs to our foreheads. And here our prayers begin with, God, I anoint your gift to me of Oh. Now we take our thumbs down to our lips and our prayers begin with, God, I bless and I dedicate only in service to you this gift of Oh, now we take our hands down over our hearts, and this time is where we thank God. So our prayers begin with, God, I truly thank you for this wonderful gift of Oh. Now we do the fourth pose is a, a motion, a, a movement. We point our fingers down into our abdomens, extending our arms slowly out to the three o'clock position and then slowly moving them straight up to the 12 o'clock position and then the nine o'clock position over our heads and then back to our foreheads with our thumbs. So as we do this motion, our prayers begin with, God, I feel my 
mind, my body, my spirit, and my soul with your wonderful gift of Om. Now with our thumbs back to our foreheads, we begin our second anointing out of three. And here our prayers begin with, God, I anoint your wonderful gift to me of Um, now we take our thumbs down to our lips and here our prayers begin with God I bless and I dedicate only in service to you this wonderful loving gift of all now we put our hands over our hearts and our prayers begin with, God, I am so thankful to you for your gift to me of Um, now we do the motion of pointing our fingers down into our abdomens, extending them out to the three o'clock and then the 12 o'clock and nine o'clock positions and then back to our foreheads and here our prayers begin with. God, I fill my body, my mind, my spirit, and my soul with your wonderful gift of Um. Now we start the third and final in the anointing series. We take our thumbs back to our foreheads and our prayers begin with, God, I anoint your wonderful gift to me of Um. Now we take our thumbs down to our lips and here our prayers begin with God I bless and I dedicate only in service to you your wonderful gift of oh. 
Om. Now we take our hands over our hearts and our prayers begin with, God, I am so thankful for your gift to me of Om. Now we take and do the motion where we point our fingers into our abdomens, extend them out to the three o'clock, 12 o'clock, nine o'clock positions. As we do this motion, our prayers begin with God, I fill my body, my mind, my spirit, and my soul with your wonderful gift of We go back to resting position, arms at our sides, our legs outstretched. We cross our right ankle over our left ankle, our right wrist, over our left wrist, over our hearts, touching our shoulders with our hands. And here our prayers begin with, God, I am truly thankful for you protecting me keeping me safe and oh. Now we go back to resting position and we roll over on our sides and push ourselves back up into sitting position using our arms and our hands. And now we take our right foot straight out in front of us. Our left foot crosses over our right knee over to the right side of our body, our right arm grabs, holds our right knee up for support. Our left arm goes behind our backs for support. And we twist our head and shoulders over to the left. And here our prayers begin with, desire I am, desire I am, desire I am. God, I desire in service to you to Oh. Now our left hand goes, our left foot goes straight out in front of us. Our right foot goes over our left knee, over to the left side of our bodies. We hold our right knee with our left hands. And our right hand goes behind our backs this time for support. And we turn our head and our chest to the right. And here our prayers begin with, Will I am, will I am, will I am. In service to you, God, I will. Oh. 
Aum. <clears throat> now we get up on our knees. Put our hands in prayer position over our hearts. And here our prayers begin with, God, I thank you for what you've given me in service to you. Om. Now we form a tiny tabernacle by putting the tips of our thumbs together and the tips of our first fingers together. And we'll place this tabernacle down on the mat and put our foreheads down in it, bending over in child's pose. And here we get to just feel God's wonderful love and wisdom filling every cell in our bodies as God protects us. Um, now we go back to sitting position. This time our right leg gets extended out to the right side of our body straight out. Our left foot comes to the inside of our right thigh. And then here our prayers begin with God in service to you, I am. Um. Now we take our left leg out to the left side of our bodies. Our right foot comes to the inside of our left thigh. And here our prayers begin with God in service to you, I will. Um. Now we go back to sitting position. 
And this time we put our hands, palms up on our knees. And we touch our thumbs to our middle two fingers. We keep our back straight and we bow forward. And as we do this, our prayers begin with, I bow to your gift of my body, my mind, my spirit, and my soul. Om. Now we sit back up straight and tall, and we bow at our pelvis a second time. As we bow forward, our prayers begin with, God, I bow to you, to the one. Om. Now we feel where we're grounded, where we're sitting. We feel the left side of our pelvis grounded and the right side of our pelvis grounded. So on the left side of our pelvis, we let God's wonderful white light start filling our bodies. God's white light of love, of nurturing us, of caring for us, like we're his little children, and purely loving us, healing our bodies. This white light comes up and it fills every cell in our legs to the tips of our toes. The white light comes up into our abdomens into every organ in our abdomens, up into our hearts, filling our hearts to glowing like a white beacon for the world with God's love. This white light comes up through our throats and into our heads, and our heads can shine out with the love of God and the white light goes out the tops of our heads and up into the heavens and it spreads out and it rains down upon the whole earth around us. God's love on every living creature. Now we feel on the right side of our pelvis God's blue light of wisdom of knowing. We feel this blue light fill our legs, every cell in our legs with the knowledge of how to heal, how to grow, how to repair themselves. We feel God's blue light come up through our abdomen, filling every organ in our abdomen. Blue light going up into our hearts, filling our hearts so that our hearts can pump this blue light to every cell in our bloodstream and in our bodies. The blue light comes up through our throats and into our heads, and it is always there all day, every day for us to reach. And we feel God's blue light of wisdom go up out the tops of our heads and up into the sky, high up into the sky, spreads out and rains down upon all of God's creations with God's truth and wisdom. Now we can step up into the light that's above our heads, the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of light, whatever you want to call it, we step up into it. 
And here we can stay as long as we want, ask anything we want to ask. And the one question we always be sure to ask in service to God is, God, what do I need to know this day? <laughs>